Jaden's kitchen. Today we are going to the gym and we're hitting some legs. So we have some rice, chicken, broccoli, and once it's all heated up, I'm also gonna throw some avocado on top of that bitch. Pop it in the microwave. And then while that's heating up, I'm going to make myself some A cuts. This one is my all time favorite now. It is pink lemonade flavor. I'm probably gonna have two scoops because it tastes so good. And we're gonna do two, make it extra flavorful, extra energy. Cause this is not gonna be your typical leg day, guys. This is going to be a crazy Crazy, insane, pillar, glute, leg day. Of course, throwing in some creatine as well. Just one scoop of the pretty white powder. Try not to slice your hand open. Yum. And I know what you're thinking. Looks very bland, eh? Not a lot of flavor in there. That's where one of my favorite sauces come in. Sweet chili Thai sauce. Look at that. Mm. Zero to 100. Amazing. Picasso. Probably gotta take a picture of this one for the gram. You guys follow me on Instagram and you're wondering where I take pictures of my food. It's right here. So I just come to this window. Snap. Delicious. So I was talking to somebody recently and they said that I should be eating more carbs on my leg days because that's when you're exerting the most amount of force, most likely. So today's gonna be a lot of, yeah, carbs. That's the vibe for today's workout, guys. I don't wanna me too. I'm rolling out my left glute. There's something pretty uh, freaky going on in there right now. Okay, guys, welcome to my gym. I own this bitch, I'm just kidding. But that is the energy I want you to have when you go into the gym. I'm gonna start with glute activation, basically. Gonna do some hip abductors. If nobody else is on the machine already, it looks like somebody might be getting set up there. I'm just kidding. Best thing about this exercise is that it actually just like hits your glutes and nothing else. This one has a little seat belt so you don't fall off. 20 reps for two sets. Activate these booty cheeks. Mind some muscle connection and really squeeze and pause at the bottom. 24. 25. Feels good. The fun thing about today's workout is that I'm on my period. I feel like every time I'm recording a leg day for YouTube, I'm on my period. But yeah, the fun thing about that is that I always feel like I have more energy on my period. Not the first day, the first day I'm dead. But it's like day three right now. So I'm like in my prime, you know? Like the whole is up, I'm extra hungry, the adrenaline, you know, like all the good things I have today. It's gonna be a really good leg day. I just feel, I feel really good about it. Also, I feel like I get a better pump on my leg days when I'm on my period because my body's retaining more water, if that makes sense. I think that's why. Girl science. <laughs> so we are gonna be doing hip thrusts at the Smith machine. My goal is to really pause at the top and squeeze my glutes and get everything, you know, activated. On the way up, we're gonna pause for one, two, three. And cast glute bridge for five. One, two, three, four. Oh, all right, we felt that. That was beautiful. What better way to focus on your butt cheeks than to do Smith machine hip thrust? I think the hip abductor warm up did the trick to get these glutes activated. seconds my ass is gonna start killing me sit on my side because <laughs> it hurts oh see it's like that delayed response like I'm good I was good and then it just like zero to 100 that's really good trying to grow my cheeks last set gotta make this one count I'm gonna do like a little pulse 
at the top, so it's almost like a double wrap. We're not done yet. And cast weight for to finish off. That was good. This is the worst part. Don't watch this, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I feel it already, we're good. There we go. We're gonna be doing some Smith Machine deadlifts. A girl recommended it to me at the gym. And this isn't just any girl, this girl just had like a peach for an ass. So I went up to her and I asked her, you know, what do you do for the ass? And she said this, you can't go wrong with deadlifts. I'm getting hot gree. It's like when you get hangry, but it's because you're hot. Like I feel like this shirt was thrown into a lake and then put on my body. There we go. Going into our second set. It literally looks like I have a flattened donut on my head now. But I need to cool down. Mama's hot. I'm gonna do a reverse grip. Honestly, because I'm lazy. Five. Six. Seven. I would definitely say start light and actually like feel out the movement, get your feet right, your positioning right. Cause it's frustrating when you're doing deadlifts and you're not feeling it in the right spot. I'm sure some of you can relate. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take my shoes off. Let's try this. Yep. Oh yeah. There's the difference. So that's the money-making move. You gotta put your feet together. What works for one person might not always work for everyone, you know, everyone's bodies are different. Height, length of like your limbs, that sort of thing. For me, what's working best, I'm five foot five, long, luscious Beyonce legs. As you can see, have my feet touching and like my knees together. Instantly, I feel a pull here and here, and as I come up, instantly it's firing up. It's such a fun leg day. Some leg days absolutely suck. I'm in no rush at all to stop this bulk. I literally want to transform. And I already see the gains, but I want like a significant difference. I want to be walking and I want to just like bop things. Like, oh, sorry, didn't see you there. My ass is just too fat. I am willing to put in the work and put up with the body dysmorphia, the fat shaming from Nona. Just kidding. She loves me no matter what. The next five, six, maybe four months, I'm just gonna crush it and put on a bunch of muscle and then I'm gonna shred it all out and I'm gonna look like a superhero and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Excuse me, coming through. Got some big girl weight here. Oh. We're gonna do some step ups now. One of my all time favorite single leg exercises. It has helped transform my booty in so many different ways. I don't even, I don't even, I just love this thing, man. Brings tears to my eyes. Got some lip gloss going. Check that out. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can definitely. Lip gloss hear. ASMR. Ready? 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 Oh yeah. Gotta keep your lips glossy, guys. You don't want any cracked white lips in the gym. Pushing up through your foot, squeezing your glute. Mind's muscle connection so important here. And you just want to tap your foot on the bottom, come back up. God damn. I forgot how good this feels. And it's challenging, but like instantly feeling it in my glute. I don't know why I stopped doing it. I think I might have got a little lazy. You got to think of every rep as like an opportunity to see a difference in your body. Even if it's small, even if you don't see it. Everything adds up. Guys, follow me on Instagram. I hit 6,000K today. We're trying to build an empire. 
build a community, and I love every single one of you. I post daily on Instagram. And like this video. Comment, subscribe, I love you. that when you're doing single leg exercises, it's perfectly okay to do two sets. It takes so much out of you to do single leg exercises, you know what I mean? And I have so much more that I want to do. So yeah, two sets, more than enough. Slow and steady, get that deep stretch. Legs, yeah. glute focus. Hey. I got a big ass too, low. Do you? Show it off, come on. Whose ass is bigger? You got this. Come on guys, comment down below. <laughs> guys, I saw this guy here at like eight in the morning doing cardio. And now it's it. totally like 3 p.m. Now he's here working back. So there's literally no excuse for you to not be at the gym, you lazy piece of <laughs> You heard it from her, that's yeah. true, that's yeah. facts. All right. every day. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. See you around. <laughs> oh. It's like mm, big old man titties. Random thought while I was in the washroom going pee a moment ago, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I'm looking a little thick right now. But like, not like thick. Like I'm looking like dumb thick in a good way. And I was thinking about something that a friend told me recently, another bodybuilder, you know, because like, once you join Pure Muslim Fitness, all your friends become bodybuilders. You know, that's the only people I surround myself with. Giant men that eat a lot of food. But anyway, my friend told me in order to sculpt something, you need to build first. And when I looked at myself in the mirror and like saw the thickness, I was like, yeah. So like the thicker you get, the more you can build. I wasn't lying when I said I wanted my body to look like I have a BBL. Like I want people to question if it's real or if it's fake when I go on vacation. I want people to look at me and say, that's fake. And I'm okay with that. Moral of the story is commit to the bulk. Don't let the body dysmorphia get to you. Keep going, keep eating, keep building. And eventually you will literally have your dream body and it will all be worth it. So we're doing some kickbacks. Make sure your core is nice and tight. You don't wanna be like moving your low back. And it's all in the kickback, not the low back. Come on. Two. Three. Awesome. I think that we might get a little sweet treat after this. I don't know. What do you think, cameraman? He said, I'm joking, I'm joking, guys. Quick lat spread. <laughs> I don't remember how to do that. Squeeze the cheeks, flex the quads, arch the back, shoulders back, and here we go. Hurting deeply And even if I ain't that crazy, baby I'll take you I'm, oh, you know you ain't an angel <laughs> Not you Oh, save it Don't waste your time Cause I'm wavy What's next? That I don't mean <laughs> We're gonna do some leg extensions And we're gonna finish off some leg curls too Just do two sets of each Yeah, just gonna burn out to complete the leg day. One thing I say about these machines, I used to be hella insecure to wear shorts on them because you can see your cellulite like crazy. <laughs> but let's normalize just wearing your shorts and seeing the cellulite because we all have it. And who really gives a f honestly? Wear those shorts, show off your legs, be comfortable in your body. <sighs> Okay, girls, embrace it. Love your body, every inch, every dimple, every stretch mark, every scar, battle wounds, ladies. You also can't get thick without getting some cellulite, ladies. Between you and I, the men love it. Real men will love you no matter what. 19, we're gonna stop at 20. <sighs> Lied, 21. Drop set. Drop set. Drop set one more. Drop set one, one more. Drop set one, one more. 70. Okay. Just Here we go. Burn out. Two. Three. Four. Five.
No. Oh, that was good. They are like literally torn, like chopped, chopped up right now. Like, you know when you make a hamburger and you have to start with like the loose meat? Minced meat. Minced meat, my legs are minced meat. All right guys, so we're at the end of the workout, so you know what time it is? It's time for a little pump check. We worked glutes, so I gotta show off the cheeks. The shorts definitely play a role in how good the cake looks, but it's only like 20% of it. The rest is all the juicy workout that we just did, guys. Ooh, mm, mm. Mm. Oh yeah, building up that dump truck. Mm, 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 mm. One leg day at a time. So it'll buy flex, even though it's not arm day. All right, now catwalk. And pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose. All right, we're done here. Gonna go get a little snack. Who's coming with me? Maple bacon. Some peanut butter and jelly. Hi. Look at all these donuts, guys. Strawberry confetti, strawberry iced. Mmm. Vanilla cookie caramel swirl. Wow. I love that sound. Yeah, it's like baby powder on a baby's bum. <laughs> all right, kiddos. We got some donuts. It's been a while since I've had a donut. Yum. It smells so good, aside from the fact that I can smell someone smoking a dirt like next to me. I can smell like a nasty cigarette. Don't smoke cigarettes, guys. Kids. We got some glazed cookies and cream and French toast. I'd say that it was well deserved, starting with the glaze. We're gonna give it a taste test. I'll rate it. Mm. It's hard to not give a donut a rating of 10 out of 10. Mmm, so good, but a little bit too much icing. <laughs> I just inhaled the icing powder. Wow, that's good. I think that's all I can do. This one, a delicious flavor. I'm biased, I don't like icing, not my favorite. This one, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for flavor, 2 out of 10 for texture. It's a texture problem with the icing. That's my problem there. Black flybase. Is, uh, I'm about to give you a problem. Water down. <laughs> Way to go, Debbie. <laughs> it was a plume plume. It just like pow goes straight down my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. Who are you calling four eyes, bitch? 